Welcome to DIY with Ben. In this video, we will destroy this camera to build a brand new camera lamp. If you need a present for Christmas or for birthday or for whatever, for a photographer, this is a perfect tutorial to do something yourself, to build something yourself and then to give it away. We want to build a camera lamp today. And what that means is that I take my old camera here, I have, it's an old analog camera, a Canon 750. Um, it actually works, but it not really works that good anymore. It's not worth much anymore so you can just go on eBay or to some selling garage thing in your neighborhood and look for old cameras and then just take an old camera and then we take the lens off and then we take a light bulb and put it inside here with of course a switch and cable and everything quick disclaimer of course we work with electricity so if you are not used to electricity maybe take another person with you who knows something about electricity it's not complicated it's not super dangerous but just keep in mind that you don't plug that in and then work on your camera or something everything here is not plugged in so keep safe and don't get a shock you should only get a shock because it's so beautiful what you built yourself afterwards what you need, of course, is an old camera. And every camera is great. It can be an SLR, it can be a camera without a mirror. It does not matter. The most important thing is that it's kind of beautiful and that you just actually have it for a cheap price and that it's not uh, that much of a loss when you will destroy it. But you don't destroy it, you make something great, new. Then you go to a hardware store and you need something for a light bulb. In my case, in Germany, it's called E27 light bulb uh, thing here, uh, where the light bulb will go in then it costs something around four bucks so it's not really expensive then you need a cable with a switch and I have here two cables one blue and one brown cable I have no idea what it's in other countries but that's what it's like in Europe so one will be for the electricity and the other will for not be electricity I don't know what it's called in English then I have here something like this then I have a knife and I have this beautiful little thing and actually you don't need that much more I have a drilling machine because I need to make a hole for uh, the cable here and yeah maybe we need some hot glue machine or something we will see afterwards and of course a beautiful light bulb because uh, that will be then instead of the lens in the front and I have here a light bulb with some glowing cables inside um, there are now options with LED as well which look kind of similar this is an old one and I just recycle it from some other lamp so that will work perfect in the front of the camera so let's start if your camera already had some batteries turn out the batteries or put them out I have here the battery it was somewhere hidden here and then take a look where the best possible way is to bring your lamp into the camera and of course bring the cable and in my case here I have here from the film on that side some holes so I will just uh, drill the hole somewhere here bring the cable in there and then here in the back will when I I turn the lens off be the perfect place for the light bulb thing here but I have to drill something here on top as well that it will fit in and of course I will have now to remove the mirror doctor doctor I think my mirror is broken no it's fine we fix it in post how do you get that shitty thing out? I never tried to remove a mirror. Okay, watch out for your eyes because the glass flies everywhere. Ah, now it works. I have a mirror. Okay, my friends, and this was the video how to turn your DSLR camera into a brand new mirrorless camera. I wish you a lot of fun uh, trying that out at home. I now removed the shutter and will drill the hole now where the space is from the previous analog film. And I will do it the getaway, just like... Duh, 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 duh. I will drill the hole like this. You do it, of course, the safe way that you don't hurt yourself. Ah, yes, there we are. 
the biggest challenge will be to put that light bulb thing here into the camera because it's a bit too small it's a full frame camera but the hole for the frame or for in that case the film is too small which is good because it will hold afterwards uh, that thing here perfectly but I will now just will need to take a bit of the plastic off from the camera and I will now just mark here with a marker where I have to make space afterwards okay something like this so you see now here in that case the light bulb later will be. So I need to take that here on top and that here in the bottom away. And I do it the Berlin style way with the drill. If you have something else, of course, use something better and something else. But I don't have something else here in my office. I will first take the screwdriver and break some things out here, like for example, here the matte plate, that thing here from your viewfinder, and some other stuff you can take on break away here and then it's easier for me to drill afterwards and then I just have a small drill and we'll make many small holes and then just take off whatever I need to take off. You won't see it much afterwards because that little blending thing here fits perfectly in the mount so whatever you do there does not really matter much. The most important thing is that you will fit that thing inside your camera. Alright, it is done. Oh, I can tell you that was a pain in the ass. We killed one, two, three drills. Only the big one survived and the camera, I can tell you, is so solid. It's crazy. Uh, then you uh, yeah, really learn to value how they build a camera and how much actually is in one camera. It's all made of aluminium here outside the uh, mirror, where the mirror actually was. <laughs> right now it's only yeah, a war zone remaining there. But now it fits. It fits in the front here with a bit of pressure. And what I will do now before I press everything inside, I will now attach the cables to the light bulb thing here. So that will come in here, I will fix everything and then I press it in the camera. And then we're almost done. I now put everything through the camera, it fits perfectly, that was the easy part. And now I just have to attach everything to the light bulb uh, plug thing here. And in Germany it's like this, the blue one is the outer side, so there's no electricity on it. And the brown one is the one with the electricity. And this one will come in the middle, or in this case on the right side. I will now just plug them in here. And then attach everything with a little screw next to it. The light bulb plug is now put together, everything is screwed tightly um, into each other and now I just have to press it into the camera that that will fit. And depending on how you drilled everything, it will be more easy or more complicated. It worked pretty fine when I tested it, but now it's a bit bitchy here. With a little force, everything fits inside. Okay, it can be a little bit over the mount, that is no problem because we have now that adapters here. And I will now take the one adapter, in my package there were two uh, with it. So I take the one and screw it on like this that it's actually inside the whole camera and inside the mount. And that will give you now some nice blending so that you just see the silver mount around and the rest is black, ah, something like this. And now comes the second one and I just turn it like this the other way around and we'll screw it onto the camera. Just like this. Nice tight and looks perfectly, doesn't it? Oh, I can't see anything anymore. But it actually looks <laughs> kind of uh, a lens or something. And now comes the best part, the last part, the light bulb. Ah. -da! Isn't that epic? Looks amazing, doesn't it? And so simple, actually, when you have the right tools with you. Yeah, now the last thing comes, the last check, plug everything in the electricity and then see if that one glows. I take a tripod now, mount it on the tripod and then you have your lamp for your home. Now the hour of truth has come. Let's see if it works. 
But first, quick commercial. If you want to learn more about photography, check out learnfromben.com. This is my website. They find download courses you can download on your computer, watch as often as you want about landscape photography, uh, the essential techniques, more advanced techniques, image editing, and so on and so on. Learnfromben.com. And now let's see if it works or if I get stroked here. No, just kidding. That's not that's something you make fun of. So let's see if it works perfectly. Isn't it amazing? Look at this. And the light bulb, of course, is beautiful as well. Uh, yeah, when you don't see all the mess here in the left-hand corner, it's really, really beautiful. And it looks perfect from the outside, from the front. So we don't even need the hot glue uh, machine or something. We could just fix everything like it was. I think it's a very great well to give your old camera back some life and to just get maybe uh, some of your cameras you have on your shelf on another shelf with a nice light bulb and some fancy stylish design DIY camera lamp. If you make this lamp yourself, uh, write me on Instagram or add me on Instagram with at Javorski or hashtag Javorski that I can see your image and the camera you built yourself. And I wish you a lot of fun doing it. It was actually a lot of fun, but a lot of pain as well, <laughs> like, like always. And uh, yeah, some great moments with your new camera lamp. If you like the video, hit thumbs up, share it with your photography friends, build some lamps together. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, do it now. There are plenty of photography videos already and plenty more to come in the future. And I will take some more photos. No, not really. I will just look at the lamp.